Okay, this was the first try on uh, S3 props. Obviously, it didn't go so great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna blame that on first flight nerves there, <laughs> and hope that that's all it was. So we did get it. Flip back over, and then I just crashed again. So. Eventually I did give up on this flight. I just kept hitting trees. I don't know why. Nice little shot of the leaves flying everywhere though, though that was kinda cool. Bringing it back to the cars. Have a look at it, figure out what's going on. So here we've restarted. Give it a good whack on these watermelons. Really smooth. They've not. They help with uh, any prop wash issues that I was running into before. With higher pitch props, I tend to handle that really weird. There was, there was a little wiggle going upside down. Still, this is first battery of the day, so I'm I'm pretty woozy still too, but. I can see the gate, no problem. They've got some pop, you know, that you don't you don't go to the moon when you hit the throttle, but you don't really want to all the time either. Missed that one. Rooster's bobbling all over the place. They don't carve in the corners. Like you'll see, they kind of wash sideways, so you, it, it winds up being a lot more fluid, um, which is great, but also it, it's less precise feeling, less locked in. And I got to wondering if maybe the people flying on the 6-cell really like these. That's, that's what they're meant for, is 6-cell with the power, but a lower pitch. You see that lined up just way easy, but on the punch out there, I almost wind up at the top of the tree because they just don't, they don't throw you up as high as, as I'm used to. <coughs> Take another pass out of here. Easy. Went for the shorter tree this time too. Also a little nervous about doing that because it's basically flying straight towards Marty and I sitting there. If I lose it, if I lose it, it's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. Really nice and easy to line those things up. Really deals with corners in a very nice, smooth manner. Even if they're a little bit... Like here, I'm just drifting to the side in a way that... On the... Uh, Five, five by fives wouldn't happen. If you carve into it, you know, that turned around pretty sharp there. Also, again, first flight of the day. See that? That went a lot wider than I anticipated. Yeah, my nice style is very on and off on the throttle on those guys. Didn't bring it back. Guess I cut that graceful landing. Alright, this is on the 5x4, four, so 4 pitch. Ugh. Really terrible S turn there, but it did it. Really cruising around. Uh, good cruising speed there, close to the ground. I feel comfortable with these still close to the ground. Over, over rotated there. Almost wound up in the trees. Did wind up in the tree there. 
Oh, brought it back, restarted again. So this is another go on the five fours. Good control in the corner. Still not a lot of crazy vibes. Still some washout and things that I'm not liking about it. Pretty flyable though. And then, ugh, didn't, didn't get as much power out of that as I'd hoped coming into the MM, so. I just flipped it over, needed to clean the camera off, so I just brought it back and called it a day on the 5.4s. Or the, sorry, the 5x4s. Bonk. Graceful, graceful landings. Okay, this is the 5.4.3s. This is, you know, the normal, I guess, for 4 cell. I, um, I ran these for a long time and never really questioned it, you know? They were just, everybody runs 5.4.3s. Go out, get a set of those, throw them on, there you go. And, uh, they're okay. I, for whatever reason, I, I, yeah, wasn't having a very, wasn't feeling it. They just weren't, like, grabbing. They're not as smooth as the threes were, and they're not grabbing like the higher pitch props are. So it's... They are a balance, but I feel like it's the worst of both worlds, um, rather than the best of both. And... Really didn't have a whole lot of... Really didn't have much of a good time on this. Um, I think I got into a bit of it here. Where it was kind of okay. Obviously, it's my piloting on all of these, so that's part of it. Is I'm just not not that great yet, but uh, it's all consistent, right? Yeah, just not not feeling super confident. Close to the ground. Got a pretty good loop out of him there. After that, I think I started to feel a little more comfortable with what they were capable of. I was able to buzz this. A little bit of wash there, but that was a pretty hard fall, too. I was straight into my own prop wash, so. Just can't, couldn't talk it into going through till there. And made it through a few quick runs. And I think, yeah. <laughs> Took out the gate on that last one. Co decided to call that quits. So now I'm on to the 545. And I mean, crazy small difference between the 4.3 and the 4.5. Theoretically, um, but it felt in my mind it felt a lot more tuned in. So maybe it was it's the way that my quad is set up with combined with these props. I felt pretty comfortable, you know, able to get down low, able to hit these gates turns without washing out too far at, you know, with kind of a reasonable aim, reasonable amount of pitching the quad forward. With the S3s, you've got to really dig into the corner with your quad since the prop isn't. You have to, you have to corner the quad harder to get a tight turn out of it. With these, I didn't have to work quite as hard, I feel like. Um, I still didn't, you know, I was, I was trying to loop back around through that, and I still missed it. Um, 
think those people on the road are gone now, so I'm going back over here to try try and line up again. Really like this little corner under those trees and then through the gate. But yeah, I felt comfortable enough to turn there instead of punching out over the trees where with the 3.1s I didn't didn't really feel like I could make that turn in time. So I just punched out over the top. This is a cool little park. Flew for a couple of hours out here. I know this video is super long, but I figured it's the only way to kind of show the whole thing. Nice S curve, you can see in it. I was able to catch it, it felt natural to catch it. Rather than with the the fours and the 4.3s, I kind of I just smashed into the ground. Now, I can't explain why that didn't happen on the threes. I don't know if I tried an S turn on the threes actually, but it's like maybe because I knew that they were a low pitch, I was I was prepared for it. Whereas with these, I was trying to just fly and not think too much about the prop and hit stuff, but uh, it felt a lot more natural to catch myself with these. And now we're on to the 4.8s. Um, didn't make it through that gate on the first time. Nice corners. Not too noisy either with prop wash. Handles it nicely. Can see in that last corner though, it does wobble a little bit more. Maybe that could be tuned out. But then after I get that, I feel, start to feel really unsafe near the ground. It's, it's, quad moves really fast with these props and it's hard to, it's hard to slow them down and it's hard to then control yourself near the ground in tight spaces. Um, been okay with it here, but like that, I was trying to get through that gate and didn't happen. There, I was kind of sideways. Easy to punch up over the trees there though afterwards. Wasn't worried about it like I was with uh, S3s. Here I started playing around with some like kind of wall rides and just whoa, almost almost died, almost lost it. Oh, yeah, that one got the blood running, and that's kind of what these props do. They kind of encourage you to keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and then you're beyond your capabilities. Well, I get beyond my capabilities, and I'm. I get in trouble, but they just, I mean, they turn, the, the nice thing about these higher pitch props is when you turn, that's where you go. You go in that direction. As soon as you turn, you don't drift to the side. There's none of that. It's just, you turn and then you're going the new direction. Um, but I did not feel comfortable close to the ground um, to get through that gate a bunch of times. Like, you see I'm staying up high. And when I was under the trees, I was moving fast and I was, like adrenaline was just crazy, crazy pumping with these, um, which is kind of fun. And there's a couple places I fly where things are really spread out, and they um, they make a lot of sense to fly these higher pitch props. And that was when I first started flying them. I started flying uh, some 5051s that my friend Marty gave to me, and. Um, and I loved them, but it was in a huge park with trees that are really far apart. This is a really tight park that I'm in here. And now this is the 5x5s that HQ makes. And it's kind of that 4.8, but just exaggerated yet again, where I really don't feel comfortable close to the ground, and the quad just wants to scream. It just wants to go super fast and, uh, 
Yeah, he just wants to go super fast and not very precisely. Um, I think I made it through. I think I made it through once, but I'm just not super tentative to get through this thing. And I was really hoping, I thought these were going to be my new everydays. I thought I was like going to be coming out of this thing that the high pitch were my go-tos. Um, but after, after doing this and seeing how difficult it is to get through these tight obstacles, which is what I think a lot of the challenge and a lot of the fun of this is, is like, okay, let's shoot that gap and then flip over into this gap and over into this one. Um, that kind of precision is, is, is difficult with these because you get on the throttle and it just, you balloon up, you balloon up out of corners and uh, the, the throttle management has to be a lot tighter. Here I just kind of gave up on it, went to cruise. You can see I just cover ground so fast um, with these props on. It, it's great for cruising around and high speed with tall trees that you can do figure ace around, but in tight quarters it's really difficult. Okay. Yeah. I beat the crap out of that on this trip. Alright, and then I went back to the... So I flew all that. Last pack of the day flew the 5 by 3.1s again, and again put the tree and smacked into the ground first thing because that's the way I like to fly those bees, I guess. Flipped over, okay, turtle mode works. You don't have turtle mode set up. Set up turtle mode. You do chop off some antennas occasionally, but whatever. Antennas are cheap, right? So I was trying to fly these to convince myself that these were watermelons were the way to go. And I can definitely see why a lot of people are flying them. And like I think I said earlier, I think it makes a lot more sense if you're on six cell. I'm, I'm on four cell on this guy right now. And it, I think it still, I think it still feels right. Um, I did like the four and a halfs a lot also. So I may have to do a back and forth in between the, the 3.1s and the 4.5s and play with them directly back to back, but it just it just flies really smooth on these and uh, yeah, super easy to control, um, more laid back, less stressful than flying the higher pitch for sure. I mean, it's a tight place. There were quite a few people around, but um, it still made it. Uh, still was a really nice experience on these. This building has a really cool awning uh, to the south end that is. I can't wait to be good enough to fly it. Here you can see I'm getting a little, little bit better at the corners in and through these trees. Really wanted to do my slalom through the trees, but just got scared. Just got scared, trying to go too fast. A lot easier to stay close to the ground though with these. A lot more A lot more resolution on the throttle. There's a... By that circular bunch of bushes, there was a kid that had... young kid that had come out and was playing around in that, so I was steering clear of it. And I think... I'll try a loop on the threes. That was pretty good. Definitely feel like I had the best time getting through that on the four and a halfs. But maybe that was right in the 
left in the Goldilocks zone of not my first flight, uh, not my last flight. That's definitely a thing. You, your first flights, you're jittery because you haven't warmed up yet. And then after a point, you start to get tired and, uh, and there's that too. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope there was something useful. I don't have a clear clear decision yet. Um, I'll probably bounce back and forth between the, the 3.1s and the 4.5s and see if I can find one that stands out. But um, really interesting experiment and uh, I'm glad I took the time to do it. Thanks.